Good day, I am Dr. Professor John, but you may call me Dr. Professor John. Now I may not look like a professor, I may not even sound like a professor, but trust me, I'm a doctor. Children and technology. Some say there are bad aspects to this mix and some say there are good, but research has shown that there is definitely both. An associate of mine, Professor Carla, has uncovered research which shows that technology is beneficial for children. Take a listen. Research has revealed that video games and other screen media improve visual spatial capabilities. They enhance attentional ability, reaction times, and skills to identify details among clutter. <laughs> yeah! Now linking in with what Professor Carla has said is the work of Dr. Inez who also believes that technology is somewhat beneficial to children. She makes a point that technology is now firmly integrated in children's lives and that the onus is on the parents to control the whens, whats and how muches of technology in the home. She has provided a quote from the MacArthur Foundation which is particularly interesting. While it may look as though kids are wasting a lot of time hanging out with new media, whether it's on MySpace or sending instant messages, they're also learning how to get along with others, how to manage public identity, how to create a home page. That's really interesting because that's really what children are doing these days. They're creating their own home page, so to speak. Her research also reveals some staggering figures with 80% of individuals aged between 12 and 17 using social media and a further 93% of those have a Facebook account. Now that's a lot of kids roaming the internet without a leash and that can cause problems. PhD student Savannah has conducted research and an experiment of her own which really highlights a child's dependence on technology these days. Have a listen. I conducted a test in my own home, monitoring the technology use among my siblings. I have two younger sisters, one 13 and one 10. The 13 year old, while still wanting to go out socially with her friends and asking regularly if she can see them outside of school, cannot go half an hour without her mobile phone. Three times during the week I hid it from her and each time she was searching for it in less than 20 minutes. As a 20 year old it is disturbing that at such a young age the mobile phone has almost become an extension of the human body. Similarly, my 10 year old sister, when left to her own devices, played The Sims for 4 hours, turning down two opportunities to go outside and play soccer or ride her bike. I mean, come on, 13 year olds and 10 year olds with phones. When I was 13, I didn't even have a phone. I didn't get a phone until I was in year 10. Come on. And nowadays, there's, there's kids walking past you everywhere with phones in their hands that are bigger than their heads. You get the idea. This dependence on technology can also lead to more serious consequences, such as mental health problems with a child, or in some cases, regrettably, child abuse and neglect. Back to Dr. Inez, she has highlighted mental health issues associated with overexposure to social media and technology. These include depression, sleep deprivation, and aggression, among other things. How many times have we heard on the news about children being abused, or about adolescents using technology and social media to meet up with people that they've never met before in their lives, and then unfortunately they turn out to be sexual predators? Well, in all honesty, we don't hear it enough. So many cases of child abuse and neglect go unreported, despite all this technology that is readily available to children and adolescents these days. Professor Annabelle has some statistics on the sheer number of sexual abuse victims, which are, regrettably, children and adolescents. Statistics from the Child Abuse Prevention Centre state that children who are sexually abused are 18 times more likely to be arrested for prostitution as an adult. 
Maltreatment in childhood increases the likelihood of arrest as a juvenile by 53% and as an adult by 38% and for females by 77%. In a study of fatalities associated with childhood abuse and neglect, children younger than the age of four accounted for 76% of the fatalities. My colleagues and I have given you the information. Now it is up to you to make your own decisions. Is technology good or bad? for children and adolescents. We'll leave that with you. I'm Dr. Professor John, good day.